Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Path Behind the Modules. Lesson 15, Multiplication and Division of Rational Numbers. Exercise 1. In the space below, create a word problem that involves integer multiplication. Try the equation to model this situation. Alright, how's this? Let's take a second. Okay. Both times we went to the fair. Copy this, please. Both times we went to the fair, I borrowed three dollars from my. So, how would I represent that? I borrowed, so that's a negative $3. I borrowed two times. So now I owe my brother six bucks. Okay. Exercise two. Now change the word problem by replacing the integers with non-integer rational numbers. In other words, fractions or decimals. non-integer rations. Write a new equation with those. So I'm going to save a little time here. So copy this again. I'm going to make one minor change. I'm going to change it to 350. Okay. So my brother and I went to the fair. and Both times I went to the fair with him. I borrowed three dollars and fifty cents. We went twice. That now I owe him seven bucks. Okay. Was the process used to solve the second problem different from the process used to solve the first? Explain. No, it wasn't. Same process. Remember that multiplication is a addition multiple times. So in the first example, I did negative 3 plus a negative 3 equals negative 6, which means negative 3 times 2. And the second one, I did a negative 350 plus a negative 350. And that equals a negative 7 dollars. Okay, so the process was the same. All right, now the rules. It is really difficult for me to write with this pen, so let me go get the rules one second. Okay, so here's step one. Copy this down. Multiply the absolute values of the two rational numbers. Step one. Step two. If the two numbers or factors have the same sign, their product is positive. If the two numbers factors have the same sign, the product is positive. Pause the video and write that. And step three. If the two numbers or factors have opposite signs, their product is negative. Okay, take a moment, pause that, and write that. Okay, here's exercise two. In one year, Melinda's parents spent $2,640.90 on cable and internet. If they spend the same amount each month, what is the resulting monthly charge in the family's income? Okay, I want to know how much it costs them per month if that was their average price or their total price for a period of time. So we want to take that, it's a negative, right? They owe, so it's negative $2,640.90. And we're going to divide that by how many months are in a year? That is 12. So when I do that, I am going to get long division. Here we go. 12. 2640.90. 12 goes into 26. 2 times 12 times 2 is 24. Subtract. Hit a 2. Bring down the 4. 2 times 12 is 24, subtract, 
that is zero. Bring down a zero. Twelve doesn't go into zero. We still have a nine here. It doesn't go. Bring down a zero. And seven times two is fourteen. Seven times one is seven plus one is eight. Subtract. Make that an eight. Borrow ten minus four is six. And five times twelve is sixty. Okay, fine. All that hard work. You okay? Your hand okay? All right, now. So they paid, so it's negative every month, 220.075. Okay, this is the average, so we could round it. It's money. We don't usually have half cents. Five would round to seven up to dollars. Okay, that would make me want to cancel my service. That's a lot of money a month. Okay. B. Rule for dividing rational numbers are the same as the rules for dividing integers. I will be right back with step one. Here's step one. Divide the absolute values of the two rational numbers. Pause the video, write that down. Step two. If the two numbers, dividend and divisor, have the same sign, their quotient is positive. Okay, finally, if the two numbers, dividend and divisor, have opposite signs, their quotient is negative. Pause the video, copy that. Okay, here's exercise three. So use the fundraiser chart to help answer the questions that follow. So we have these customers, five customers, types of plants, number of plants they're purchasing, price per plant, total, paid, yes or no, doesn't really matter to us. Okay, so we need to calculate some plants here. All right, so... Mara Jones bought two plants, and they were tulips, and a price per plant is $4.25. So the total price would be $4.25 times two. Times two. Five times two is ten. Two times two is four. Plus one is five. Four times two is eight. Plus one is nine. Two decimal places. And it is oops, four plus one is not nine. Four times two is eight. There was no carryover. That is eight. Eight fifty. Almost overpaid for those two years. Okay. Now Mr. Clark bought five geraniums at two twenty five each. Two point two five times five. Five times five is twenty five. Five times two is ten plus two is twelve. Five times two is ten plus one is eleven. And he paid eleven dollars and twenty five cents for his five geraniums. Okay. Jeremy is selling plants for the school's fundraiser and listed above is a chart for the fundraiser order form. Use the information in the chart to answer the following questions. Show your work or present the answer as a rational number, then explain your answer in the context of the situation. Okay, so the first question is if Mara Jones writes a check to pay for the plants, what is the resulting change in her checking account balance? When they say change, they don't mean money. They mean how much did it change? So the answer was 850. So in the checkbook, though, the numerical answer is negative 4.25 times 2 equals negative 8.50 dollars. Okay. So the difference, the change in your checking account balance is a negative 850. She needs to deduct 850 for her balance. Deduct 850 from her balance. Okay. B. Mr. Clark wants to pay for his order with $20 bill, but Jeremy does not have change. Jeremy tells Mr. Clark he will give him the change later. How will this affect the total amount of money Jeremy collects? 
Okay, so he wants to pay with a $20 bill. This is Mr. Clark. So if we go back, look at Mr. Clark. Mr. Clark is right here. He owes eleven twenty-five. He wants to pay with a twenty. Okay. So he paid two twenty-five per geranium times five geraniums equals negative eleven dollars and twenty-five cents. Okay. So if he gives him a $20 bill and subtracts 11.25 from that, 2 to 1, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 2 is 7, 9 minus 1 is 8. He overpaid by $8.75, so the adjustment Jeremy, Jeremy needs to make is a negative 8.75. Okay, so Jeremy... will be over by 8.75. And you'll need to make that change at a later time. C. Okay, C. Jeremy's sister, Susie, borrowed the money from her, their mom to pay for her order. Their mother has agreed to deduct an equal amount of money from Susie's allowance each week for the next five weeks to repay the loan. Once a week, they charge from Susie's allowance. So Jeremy's sister, Susie, borrowed the money from her mom to pay for her order. So let's go back and look. What are we talking about now? Susie. Jeremy's sister. Okay, they bought a violet for $2.50. Okay. Okay, so we owe two fifty. We want to divide two fifty by five. Five weeks of allowance. Five won't go into two, so I put a zero. Five goes into twenty-five. Five times five times five is twenty-five. Bring down the zeros, and five goes into zero zero times. So we have fifty cents. Fifty cents per week. For the next week, five weeks. Okay. So Susie loses. 50 cents of her allowance. Five weeks. Okay. D. Jeremy's grandparents want to change their order. They want to order three daisies and one geranium instead of four daisies. How does this change affect the amount of their order? Okay, so now we have to look at the price of daisies and geraniums. We're talking about Jeremy, Jeremy's grandparents. So I need to go back two pages. Okay, so let me get rid of this now. Now we're talking about Jeremy's grandparents. That's out of the way. So now, Nana and Pop, Jeremy's grandparents. They bought four plants, and they bought four daisies at three seventy-five. They paid fifteen dollars. So let's just write that here. Four times three point seven five equals fifteen dollars. Okay, now let's go back. Actually, we want one geranium instead and three. So we're going to return a geranium, or not return it, but change it to three. So now I want to change this to three and pick up a daisy. Okay. Well, look at the prices. Here are the prices. 375. They're the same. Okay. 
So if I turn over and only get three days of strict and change that to a three, and then I add one, well, that's a daisy. I, I had a distraction there and I got messed up. So let's take a look. A geranium. I want some geranium. Right. So, not daisies for daisies. Where are geraniums? Here's a geranium. They are $2.25. So now we want a geranium. And I only want three. Okay, so I'm going to take $15 and subtract 375 because I want three of them. And that is $11.25. Okay, 15, three times 375 is 11.25. And then I'm going to add 225 the geranium and my new bill is 1350 instead of 15 that's one way we could do it we also could have said well 375 for the plant we're returning and 225 for the plant we're getting I could have also done this I am saving a dollar fifty okay so I could subtract a dollar fifty from that, and I would still get fifty cents. Alrighty. Jeremy's approach: three people who do not want to buy any plants. However, they wish to donate some money for the fundraiser when Jeremy delivers the plants one week later. If the people promise to donate a total of fourteen dollars and forty cents, what will be the average cash donation? Okay. Three people. Average means to divide. Fourteen dollars and forty cents. Divided by three. Give myself any room to work. So let's move this down. Okay. okay, so four times three is twelve. Subtract two, four. Eight times three is twenty-four. Zero, 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 four, eight. So the average donation is four dollars and eighty cents. Jeremy spent one week collecting orders. If twenty-two people purchase plants, totaling two hundred and seventy dollars, which is the average amount of Jeremy's sales. Okay, so here is two hundred and seventy divided by twenty-two. So we'll do long division. Twenty-two times one is twenty-two. Subtract seven minus two, five. Two times two is four. Two times two is four. Subtract, get sixty. Okay, twenty-two goes into sixty, not quite three times. So I'd have to do two again. And the decimal is at the end of two seventy, and I get two times twenty-two, which is forty-four. Subtract, borrow. 6, 16, 60. 2 goes into 16 8 times, but I can't quite get there. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15. And I borrow, and I get 60. Uh, here we go. 60, I've seen that already. Okay, so the next number will be 2. And this is going to keep repeating. Get minus forty-four dollars sixty, and then it's going to be two seven two seven two seven repeated. All right, but we're talking about money here, so how far do we really have to go? Three decimal places, and then think about which direction. So my answer is going to be twelve dollars and twenty-seven cents. Okay, the two rounds done. The average product sale is twelve dollars. Okay. And I believe that's the end of the lesson. Do your exit ticket. Go do your problem set.